in that story where everyone fled, the Bible says in Mark 14, verse 50, you're in John 21 to stay there. And they all forsook him and fled. And there followed him a certain young man having a linen cloth cast about his naked body. And the young men laid hold on him. And he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. Now, I was talking with Brother Devin about this passage yesterday. I think there's more to this story symbolically than I know. But one thing that I know for certain is that, you know, nakedness is a shame in the Bible, that, that, that your nakedness is, it's, is a shameful, especially to be naked in public, like is a total shame. And I know that this for sure is highlighting the fact that when everybody fled from Jesus, it was a total and utter shame on all of them to have left their Lord to just have whatever done to him. And that they took off and thought about themselves and not about him, when he was there for them. He was their, their, their savior, that they fled from him. And again, you know, just because Jesus Christ isn't physically standing here, when you start steering away from the things of God and they stop becoming important to you, and other things are taking the focus and priority in your life, you might as well be fleeing from Jesus. Maybe you follow a little bit like Peter did. The Bible says that Peter followed afar off. So if you remember, John followed that. Like John fled, but then John got right back and was there. And was there when Jesus was, was being interrogated, when they brought him to Caiaphas, when they brought him to, you know, he's, he's right there. He's inside already when Peter shows up trying to sneak in, pretend like he doesn't know Jesus and he's trying to figure out his way. He kind of wants to see what's going on, but he doesn't really want to get too close. He wants to have one foot out and one foot in and just be like, well, I really want to see what's going on with Jesus, but I really don't want people to know that, which is why he denies them three times. And John's in there just going like, oh yeah, let this guy in. You know, like he's already there and he's not being sneaky and he's not being in guile. It's like, yeah, this is John. I'm here to be with Jesus. That's who we need to, to model ourselves after that. Even if you do fall, even if you do, you know, have that moment of, of a lapse in your faith or whatever, like all of the disciples did, get right back in it right away and just, just try to get back as close as you can then to Jesus. Get right back in it. 